You are being watched. Hello, welcome back to What Our Movie. I am Tony. And I'm Claire. And we're back for Person of Interest Season 3. Yes. We've just begun. Last episode was Liberty with a sailor. Uh, oh, yeah. We got in trouble with diamonds and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, Shaw and Reese working together. Yep. It was cool. Uh, Carla is a plain, uh, well, no, is a normal police officer yeah. now, uniform. Yeah. Police car. Yeah. Bit weird. Um, and the other. Root is in an Root argument in a, with the machine. Well, she's kind of in, a, in an asylum, but she's in an argument with whether to machine. kill a therapist or not. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Um, and also, um, Carla is working with Elias. Yes. Has him locked in a basement. Yes. Mm. Secret partnerships there we and go. the Russians. Oh, Elias, Anthony stole the diamonds in the end. Yeah, but the Russians are kind of running town. Yeah, that's because Elias has over, been in yeah. prison. Yeah. Uh, this is season three, episode two. Nothing to hide. This aired on the first of October, two thousand thirteen. Directed by Frederick E. O. Toy and written by Eric Mountain. We've seen Frederick E. O. Toy direct yeah. before, and Eric Mountain's a producer, and he's written before. See what happens. What are we going to get into? What do you want to see more of, or what do you, where do you want to go? Root, I guess. More. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like this show is a very open book. Like there's, there's a lot so it, much could, that it's just it like, could do. Yeah, anything. Lot, I'll be happy. There's ironically with. a lot of roots it could take. Yes. <laughs> Full reaction is in the description. You need your own copy to watch along. Just make sure to come back where we'll talk all about it. Let's do it. Claire will turn her phone on yeah, silent. Let's begin. Hmm. What are we beginning? Bear. Yeah, I like bear. We need more bear. Is there a bear-centric episode? <laughs> oh. What? Hmm? Oh. What's she doing? She's stalking him. <laughs> he does that. <laughs> Man likes his privacy. It's for you. <laughs> Beautiful day for a walk. <laughs> He's so when you good. First, could you join us back at the library? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she's sour about that? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Lovely day for a walk. <laughs> Big headstone. Detective Carter, right? Officer, actually. Mm. Thanks to you. <laughs> Is he looking at a couple of Carla Elias' men? Heard that too. You think otherwise? I think there's more to it than that. Mm. Don't, don't say too say much, yes. Carter. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. Yeah, I was thinking, don't, don't spill the beans. Yeah, I mean... She opened the can a little bit there. Yeah, she did. I think we might still have a problem with Officer Carter. Man. Where's it going to stop with him? Looking for news in Cal's case. Well, they pulled my access. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Dang it. Yeah. Okay, come on, Fusco. That clears out a little. You're going to get Fusco in trouble. Fusco's always been in trouble. Yeah. What's a little more? <laughs> I've got our number thing. Wayne Kruger, founder of a company called Life Race. What's their business? Their users can look up old friends. Sounds harmless enough. Is, however, more to it than that. Selling data. So all those <laughs> they do. People. It's about collecting oh. and selling. I'm sorry, I just guessed. Because <laughs> literally, literally every website's like that now, isn't it? Yeah. Where they live, work, and more. Then he turns around and sells the information. Sounds a little like your machine. Hmm. <laughs> A beautiful <laughs> difference. The machine never reveals any of its information mm -hmm. beyond the social sure. security number. So like him or one of the reasons I made sure the machine was an impenetrable black box. Yeah. It can't be uh, abused. He's yeah. in Shaw's hands now. You doubt her ability to be discreet? <laughs> doubt her ability to keep from shooting someone. <laughs> it's true, Paul. No, I'm sure she'll be fine. Hmm? Look, professional. Yeah? How many guns do you think she's got? Uh, at least three. It's scary how easy that is. <laughs> yeah. We're thrilled that you're considering. Done our homework. Peter has done our homework. Sumer analytics, statistics, and data points per target. Congratulations. What is it for? Hmm. Baby rattle? I haven't told anybody. How did you know? Your wine consumption, your milk, yogurt, and cheese consumption has tripled. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Burning everything about a person allows Sounds us Sounds really stalkery. It is a bit. A bit controlling. But can I ask, have you run into any issues with respect to privacy concerns? Those crying the loudest about privacy are probably the ones trying to hide something. That's why, uh, Barry, I put my own profile. I've got nothing to hide. Mm, it's like the worst sentence to say, really. 
I think it's time mm. to look a little more closely. People who say they have nothing to hide almost always do. How <laughs> Was he hiding? Mm, don't know. <laughs> Could be anything in this show. I mean, yeah. It's a lot of dog biscuits. I understand you're mm. back on the day shift. It's a big yeah, dog. but I'm giving up something. My patience. <laughs> I don't blame us. <laughs> New partner, or yes, sir. I'm really looking forward. To One, I didn't want to be an FTO. Two, when I tell you to do something, just do it. And number three, don't touch my radio. Yes, ma'am. Carter, yes, it's Carter. <laughs> How do you think she'd Looks be like as a partner? Huh? Looks fun. Yeah. <laughs> Are you like being in the middle of the action? You get some more action in toll booth. <laughs> yeah, be could be quite fun in an office. I was just emptying the trash. I'll come back. Okay. Tell them. <laughs> It's a bit aggressive. It was a bit. Jeez. Oh, Tried to put the restaurant, but it was declined. I'll handle it. Don't look at her like that. You know, sometimes I mm. wish I had an assistant beyond having a great ass. I sure hope this guy's a perpetrator. <laughs> yeah. Go to a party shop. Only if you promise to wear something pretty. Ooh. <laughs> I'm freaking shy. <laughs> what kind of dress is he going to wear? Pink. Or is he just going to wear a suit? <laughs> like Probably you know. just a suit. Okay. He literally looks how he did earlier on in the day. <laughs> yeah. Great of all of you to make it tonight, especially my wife, Dee Dee. You learned anything? Shaw likes truffled quail eggs. <laughs> She's making a lot of noise. You didn't expect me to shoot somebody on an empty stomach. I prefer you didn't shoot anyone at all. <laughs> what about you, Finch? She always jumps to shoot. Yes. Kruger's gone to great lengths to suppress any bad publicity, even a class action lawsuit buried in non disclosure agreements. Sweetheart, I love you, this is for you. Seems a bit uh, sensitive, doesn't he? Yeah. Doesn't we'll want anything bad hide. said about him. Aww. Very cute. I feel like something's gonna go wrong, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I feel like I said that so well timed. Well damn. Uh, <laughs> I've got nothing to hide. <laughs> Someone's Is somebody's idea of a joke? It was you that was with mm, I have no idea. Yeah. Mr. Reese. God damn. Anniversary video into a sex tape. Mm -hmm. Oh my. <laughs> Yeah, that was... Imagine how embarrassing and awful that would be. Yeah. Party's over! I thought, I thought it was just getting started. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it was just getting started. Damn. Just when things were getting interesting. <laughs> First his credit card. The machine wouldn't send us his number if someone just wanted to humiliate him. Find whoever's behind this before they come after him again. But now is his wife going to want to kill him? Or before Kruger finds them first. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Mm. His wife's even gonna want to kill him, or that he's gonna find the person and kill them, or. Mm. Well, this is, yeah, them just getting started and then mm. they're gonna come after him. I'm sound so worried, Harold. I haven't hurt anybody. <laughs> yeah. Why is it always about her? I think I know who hijacked Kruger's anniversary party. A woman dressed as a waiter. I've been going through all the parties to the class action oh, wow. suit. Personal information was released by Life Trace. Harassment, even murder. Chloe Harper. She lost her life to a stalker who found her home address using Life Trace. No wonder Kruger one of the Jesus. Shooters. Her name is Karen Mills. No, stay put. I'll see if Detective Carter can help us. She just wants to be in on the action, she not an office it. job. She loves selfish jobs. <laughs> stay in the car. <laughs> he looks familiar to me. He's been mm. in something. Oh, maybe I remember this. Why are you coming after Wayne Kruger? <laughs> Damn, just straightforward. Yeah. I, I got a package, DVD, and Ooh. some instructions on what to do if I wanted to get back at him. He ruined my life. That's fair. <laughs> I was a paralegal. It's where I met my fiance. One day, some of the assistants were looking people up. They found some pictures taken by an ex boyfriend. My fiance called off our engagement. I saw a chance to make Kruger feel the humiliation that I felt. I think he might have. It's yeah, kind of maybe. a similar vibe, right? Yeah. I'm gonna let you off with a warning. So <laughs> long as you take that package, take it to a detective, Lionel Fusco. You'll nice. never do anything like that again. I won't, officer. Good. Because the NYPD will know. <laughs> That's so, like, intimidating. <laughs> and, um, I just can't think of the word. Doesn't sound like she had anything to do with the other attack. Likely done by whoever sent the anonymous package. Who doing it? Who is doing it? I feel like it's gonna be his assistant randomly. You think? Something's wrong. What's the problem? My problem? Qualifications extended beyond having a great ass. <laughs> Maybe not. Come from? Maybe not. <laughs> 
Screw you, Wayne. Get wrecked. Mr. Collier. Well, in light of recent developments, Mr. Diva doesn't think Life Trace is the best partner for us after all. What recent developments? His infidelity? Yeah. Or is there something else? This is getting better by the minute. Work, ses place sexism. And oh. <laughs> I was hoping you could tell me. Oh, no. Now what? <laughs> I said, is there more? We're gonna take the site down. We already did. You never said you went bankrupt or had a DUI. Not all ancient history. Well, it's new to us. God damn, he's, he's getting ruined. Took some time to sort out your personal issues. This is my company, Barry. And you're the face of it. And that's now a problem. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Someone's very not happy with him. Well, it's multiple people now. But I'm gonna find out who's doing this. I'm gonna fix this. You reckon? Things are escalating with Kruger Finch. <laughs> Oh, it's not having a good night. Why do I feel like the lift is going to get stuck or? You've heard a great many people. Listen to me. If I find out you're the one responsible. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Jesus. How? The elevator's free falling. Modern elevators do not free fall. <laughs> <laughs> How? I can't fight the technology. Somebody has disabled the auto safety feature. Ow. The elevators aren't networked. I can't access them. God damn. What are you gonna do? Oh. Oh. Little scare tactic, maybe? maybe. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think I'd ever go in an elevator no. ever again. <laughs> I'll stick to the stairs. Why would you get in your car? <laughs> Didn't do it quick enough, mm. Reese. Whoever's coming after him has taken his company, his money, and the only thing I have to take will be his life. Dang. It's ex escalated really quick. Yes. <laughs> he only woke up this morning, didn't he? <laughs> but whoever hijacked the elevator would have needed access to the building's electrical room. You know who cleaned out Kruger's bank account. Dennis Paulson. He's another member of the class action suit. Then we're looking at multiple perpetrators. Someone's giving these victims everything they need to get back at Kruger. How many people in that class action? Over 200. 23 in the tri-state area. That's a lot of people. It'd be fun trying. <laughs> I gotta ask, She's enjoying herself. Is this guy even worth our time? You know, that's not a question we entertained when we saved you, Michelle. Mm. Only... Gotta save everyone, no matter what. Everyone deserves a fifth, seventh chance. <laughs> what do you think did this? I talked to his regular customers first. But that's not our job. Yeah. Right. She misses it, don't she? She does. First body? Yeah. He looks like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that he looks a bit like ghost like. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know what happened. Just suck on the ice. Why <laughs> suck on ice? <laughs> She's not happy with him. Find anything? Yeah, my Fusker. He's still got the little statue on his desk. Good. Whoa, the file's been frozen. Probably too many prying eyes. Hey, you want to get back to it? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Hmm. So suspicious about him now. He was very sick. <laughs> Mr. Collier, Twain Cougar. I'm sure we can sort this all out. <laughs> Who's crying the loudest about privacy? I would just pull over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go off the grid. Yeah. Pack the car. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I really regret getting a new car now. <laughs> you know when you're like, mm. I feel like the budget for crashing cars went up this yeah. season. <laughs> and you're like, are you alive? Yeah. Bet you could use a lift. <laughs> How does that sound so intimidating yet friendly you, at the same time? You would time? think, are you the guy that did this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He's like, friend? <laughs> and you are, and now, your only option. Hmm. It overrode your car's internal ECU, allowing someone to control the vehicle. One of the members of that class action suit. My lawyer settled. Not to everyone's satisfaction. <laughs> I was going to pass to say, yeah. I mean... Chloe Harper, the young woman killed by her stock father. I just looked him up. Stu Summers. Different last name than Chloe's. He was posing as a janitor. Yeah. Ah, uh, Carl. Until three months ago, he worked as an electrical engineer at an aerospace firm. With a pedigree like that, he would have the yeah. skills to design these sophisticated yeah. attacks. Bit of a 
clever job to have. Yes. Mm. Personnel file, an address I can call tomorrow morning. Not necessary. <laughs> Are you hacking my building server? <laughs> Don't judge me. Do you mind? <laughs> We're here to help you, like. <laughs> Carl Miller, 162 Willow Street, apartment 4. I'll hit the apartment. And you'll stay with the dog. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. I want to stroke bear and cuddle him. I don't think he's a really cuddly dog. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Anything to eat around here? Just sent our green tea and a box of doggy treats. Okay. <laughs> don't mention. Well, it's trying to triangulate the location of the call you received in the elevator. I prefer you didn't do that. I prefer you mind your own business. Had ironic coming from a man of your profession. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning yeah. your business is minding everyone else's business. What is it that you do? You help people out of difficult situations, even situations of their own design. So it's my fault that some wacko is trying to kill me. The man yeah. lost his daughter, Mr. Kruger. You feel no accountability? I'm part of a $300 billion a year industry. That doesn't Amazing excuse that. that. Unfortunate, but they happen. Can't be helped. Oh, they can? But only if the people who have access to the information are as interested in protecting it as they are in profiting from it. Hell yeah. Tell him fiction. Mm, yeah. Checking to see if my wife had called. Your Mr. wife doesn't Kruger, care. Phone because it might not be safe. We can go through your phone carrier's web port. Need my password? <laughs> that little <laughs> noise is amazing. You can meet us at the Mayfield at 9.30. If I leave now, I can still make it. The message not labeled as new. Oh no. Summers. It's too dangerous. I don't care. Too much oh, Jesus. God, he needs to get his priorities sorted. <laughs> All right, I'll contact my associates and have them meet us at the hotel. Oh, this Bear, guy. I hope you bit his balls. He was eating treats. He's... <laughs> Jesus, this guy's a douche. Man. Good. Oh. Poor Finch. So he gets for trying to help people. Yeah, no. At what point would you just give up and be like, people yeah. aren't worth it? Yeah. I made the mistake of turning my back on him. Are you all right? I will be. Hmm, he did buy his balls. It would appear that Bear slowed Kruger down. Nice. Making his way to the Mayfield. Stalking Kruger just like his own daughter was stalked. Divine retribution. <laughs> Something else, Mr. Reese. Kruger's not only a potential victim, he may also now be a perfect. Oh, man. <laughs> that's cool. Mm -hmm. He could be both. This is happening. Someone is screwing Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool, the perpetrator yeah. victim, like, fighting. That's interesting. Looking for someone? And easy. Were you going to take me out before or after my meeting? I hadn't decided yet. It caused me a great deal of pain and suffering. Bloody rich. Point. Mm -hmm. Well, now you're gonna help me get it all back. Mr. Kruger, you got my message. Uh, where's the rest of your team? They send their regrets. Hello? <laughs> Just some Mr. Summers. guy. I thought CEO, but we couldn't get him to reconsider. What? I I'm sorry, I thought a face-to-face -face would be better than another phone call. He's not gonna be happy. Excuse me? No! You have no idea what I've been through to get here! Mr. Kruger, why do you have a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Humiliated me. It's his twisted little game that made our deal fall apart. Put down the gun. I said, tell him. Oh my God. <laughs> Some the guns out of hand. Do it, Mr. Summers. Who are you? Insert for a party. <laughs> Chloe. He killed her. And something had to be done. I never touched your daughter. You're just as guilty. I didn't do anything. Exactly. Yeah. Uh. See, her ex-boyfriend found her three times. We asked the company to take her information oh, down, and they didn't do it. And so he found her again till the last time when he killed her. All because you and your company man. didn't do <laughs> Rightfully it. angry. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm sorry. Yeah? Sorry isn't good enough. You do this in your life, it's over. Bruce, man. We don't need your daughter's memory. What Chloe wants. Poor guy. Yeah, he's anger, and he's... You did the right yeah. thing. Mm. I feel like it just makes it worse that three times. Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Triangulated the call now coming from inside the Mayfield. <laughs> ah! Mr. Reese? You were right. Something had to be done, which is why we reached out to you, Mr. Summers. <laughs> you sent me the package. We sent you means to exact justice. You had the courage to act. Well, damn. Fortunately, the car crash wasn't successful. You should go now, Mr. Summers. 
<laughs> he looks a bit confused, yeah, rightfully. Be confused, you look confused. Yeah. I think you understand now what is lost when your privacy is stripped away. Your identity, everything. You. Yeah. Thousands more just like me. People who have chosen action over apathy to take back what men like you and the government have stolen. <laughs> this guy wins business. He does. Mm. It wasn't a game, Mr. Kruger. This was a lesson. The first. We were just gonna scare you, but that wouldn't change anything, would it? <laughs> Thank you. John, are you shot? My vest caught it. Thank God. <laughs> I got him. Good hey, luck. I need to get to Collier. We gotta get you out of here. Another time. Well, damn. Yeah. Did you see that coming? No. <laughs> Not at all. Back for more, huh? I chose you. I heard about your work with the Homicide Task Force and how you took down those corrupt cops. That's why I jumped at the chance to train under you. I don't get the sense that you want to train anybody. Then I'd prefer it if you just cut me loose. <laughs> Oh, she's warming up to him. She is. Roger, dispatch three out of ten responding. <laughs> the new team! Yay! Let's go! <laughs> hey. Collier has not returned to work. Started four months ago as VP of Customer Analytics, a position that allowed him to get close enough to Kruger. He told Kruger there were others like him. Packages came through scattered all over the country. Oh my. Could have saved on the postage and just shot him when they had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> it, was an elaborate plan. It, was, it was about giving the people he hurt a chance at retribution. And also putting an ideology into action. Collier referred to Kruger's murder as a lesson. The first. How many more are we gonna yeah. get? I fear that whatever his organization's ultimate goals may be, this could be just the beginning. <laughs> Did you want to get more complicated with this show, Claire? Because... <laughs> We got one. <laughs> My god. That was Nothing to Hide, episode 2 of season 3. What did you think of that? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Sorry, I was pausing because I was looking at the thumbnail before and I was like, that wasn't the main guy in No, that, that was one, his was friend. It? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, Seems... yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. It was really yeah. cool. I think this is a hell of a way to start to season 3, actually. However, back to back great episodes. To like... discuss the elephant in the room. No root. Yeah. No root. How did you know what I was going? Because uh, I saw her in the thumbnail for the next one. I was like, oh yeah, no root. <laughs> or Elias as well. Yeah, no Elias. So, yeah. Um, we haven't really had HR either no. for the last... I mean, little tiny bit. Yeah. Little sprinkle. There we go. Just a little reminder. Yes, exactly. So, but this was all about Wayne Kruger. Um, he... Owner of a company called... Yeah, before that though, it started off with the machine and it just said, let's begin. Yes. So I guess that was people getting... Well, that was prob. I reckon that may have been Collier's voice then. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to guess. Do you reckon? Maybe. Because then he's like, let's begin this plan of yeah. like... Yeah. Or maybe it was Wayne. I don't know. Anyway, um, we started off with Shaw following Finch. Well, Finch is walking Bear. Yes. Bear can step. He's like, Shaw. Yeah. <laughs> and as he, she, he turns the corner... Disappear. <laughs> she was like, well. and then Reese is right behind her, like he just like, well. <laughs> yeah. likes his privacy. Yeah. Reese gets fogled. It's for it's you. you. <laughs> Lovely day for a walk. Yeah, Finch is so great. He like knew what's up, and the way he uh, words is. Well, yeah, how when you finish your walk, please Let's pop by the library. We've got a new number. We have got some work. Um, yeah, we cut to Beecher's grave. Yeah, where Carter turns up with some flowers. And Quinn pops along, which is a little mm. bit of HR we get. Um, introduces himself. She realises he's yeah. Beecher's godfather. This and is then, about the eulogy and stuff. Yeah, but, but the main thing is that Quinn says, oh, they think it was two of Elias's men. Yeah. And she's like, eh, maybe. And he's like, you don't think so? And she's like, ah. Yeah. And, and then she goes off. Of, she's like, oh, my shift is starting, so it disappears. Because like, he even says Detective Carter. And she's yeah. like, uh, officer. Yeah. But... He then rings and says, we still might have a problem. Yeah. That's what he does. He, he did it with, he met up with Beecher before and was, yeah. and was like getting a sense of what's going on. Yeah. I do like the fact that like to coincide with his phone call about Carter still being a potential problem, you get 
Carter phoning Fusco yes. to ask to have a look and any updates, and he's like, he says something, and she's like, "Well, I can't because I haven't got the privileges anymore." My ex anymore. has been all revoked. Yeah. And he's like, "Well, it looks suspicious if I do." Too many know. prying eyes. I'll do it because I'm not there's... on the case. Yeah, as well. I'll do it when there's not so many yeah. people. Um, but we learn about Wayne uh, Kruger. He uh, created a website called Life Trace. Life Trace, which is basically kind of a Facebookish kind so of thing. Data. You can yeah. Well, basically, well, in reality, towards people, it's kind of like Facebook, where yeah. you can share information, you can connect with lost friends, find yeah. people with matching, you know, get all sorts of things. Yeah. But in reality, it's, it's data. Yeah, it's a da- well. He's a data broker, and yeah, they, broker. they data they 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 gather data and sell it. Sell it on. Which is parties. basically what what I, I said it before they said it because this is basically what all those social media yeah. websites are like. Any website do it now. Um, but recently, um, a Twitter rival by Facebook just released, but yeah. by Meta, um, called Freds. Yeah, and it's actually not released in the EU because their data, like. Like um, policies on their website, on their app, are so bad that the EU yeah. will not let them. <laughs> it's insane. So I hate but, seeing people getting it. When I was seeing people getting it, I was like, "Do I want another social media?" But then when can we get told, it here? Yeah, I, I guess we're not in the EU, no. so we can. Because loads is, of people, like people, have been sharing their yeah. Threads post on their Instagram. The stories. problem is, if you did, if you do, decide you don't want Threads and delete it, it deletes your Instagram. Does it? Apparently so. Yeah. So. Don't get it if you don't want it, if you're not sure. So, anyway, we're getting off track. But what I was going to say is because you told me what? Claire's flying off the tracks. No, No, I'm just saying because you told me about that data stuff. I'm trying to stay back on. No, (laughs) Karen. You told me about that data stuff. That's why I've not. I keep seeing people post it. I'm like, do they even realise? Like, and I know I mean, you're opening yourself up to it with anything you I mean, you I'm going to say... I find this sometimes when I go on a website to buy something and it's like, oh, join our mailing list for discount and then I do it and then I'm like... Yeah. I probably just now... Well, the thing is, like, I mean, Twitter or Facebook are much better and Instagram yeah. anyway, but yeah. And so, it's online shopping anyway. as a whole, the amount of places... <laughs> I'm just saying the amount of places that you put your information on. Yes, that's like... Like, Well, that's the point can, they made in this show as well when um, Finch said... Um, like uh, the government tried for so many years to get people to give over their data and then it turns out people okay. would willingly give it away yeah. if you just made a social media website yeah. which is real life yeah people just yeah. do it because they want to yeah it's crazy um, and nobody ever reads the small print oh no 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 one to read. I love when I like, have like, like 10 pages of terms and conditions and you instantly just like flip f- yeah like you fly through it and it's accept like, it's then... illegal we're gonna get shut down <laughs> and then I, I just know that always I'm like I may have just sold my first home <laughs> <laughs> like you know and you're like yeah. I don't know what I've just agreed to because it's too long yes exactly so but anyway he gets gathers though it sells it on that's yeah. what he's yeah Back on um time. sure is inside the building she's a bit she sad she be in the action yeah but where she gets to shoot people not yeah yeah but she's gonna be in office yeah uh, so she well goes. that's what like Reese and Finch joke about it like her shooting I'm hoping she doesn't and whatnot. but she yeah. she hacks onto his phone or clones it clones it and listens in and He's off Kruger's to a got a meeting yes with I can't remember their name no. began with an R it doesn't matter doesn't matter <laughs> um, he has a meeting and yes. it kind of very creepy in my opinion yeah because he's like oh congratulations they're all about them kind of getting on board with their company yeah and stuff I like and how um, they were like oh, f- uh, thanks for picking us you must have done your research or whatever yeah. and then the guy's like oh Peter done all the research he searched for this place yes he did specifically yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah but so. yeah he just gives one of the guys a gift of a baby rattle and says congratulations and he's like how did you know this uh your wine consumption's down and your cheese yeah. milk and whatever is up Ow. yeah it's like me and my wife haven't told anybody he's like sorry if i ruined the surprise it's really yeah. creepy it is creepy yeah um but he's showing how good the platform is really yeah um and they're like this sounds really cool yeah meanwhile um uh, I think it cuts back and forth, but yeah. So we yeah, they because they say they'll take it to their CEO yeah, yeah. and let him know. Say. Yeah, uh, and then he we goes, cut to Carter though. Uh, do we? Yeah, we do, um, and we just see she's got a new partner basically. Yeah, uh, but she's very hard ass yeah, towards she him. She's like, don't touch the radio. Well, I mean, she doesn't even want to be doing the the, no. the 
Yeah, but to get on days, she needs a partner. Yeah, she don't want to be a vampire. No. <laughs> and he's like, so I'm so excited and happy. Thank you very much. She's like, all you need to know is so do I... as I tell and don't touch the radio. Yeah. He's like, okay. Because <laughs> um, obviously she spoke to Finch as well. Yeah. Because um, Finch was asking her about it. But yeah. Um, but then it cuts to... They're trying uh, to pay for the party. Or something yes, like that, yeah, and then his, his assistant, just like, lied. yeah, I think. Meanwhile, at that point, like uh, before that, Shaw's sitting at a desk, and the oh, janitor goes to, to empty the bin. Yeah, and she, she like, grabs. Oh. Yeah, so I'm just emptying the trash. Just like it's okay. <laughs> they very specifically showed this guy as well yeah. walking in with name badge Carl and yeah. him as well. Yeah, so. Um, but yeah, so his assistant couldn't pay for the party or whatever. Yeah, it's so gives the card to him. Like, Why? And now she's walking out. So you pointed out. He's like, don't look at her like that. Yeah, and he's like, oh, I only had an assistant that was, uh, that was had... good at a job and not just a good ass or yeah, something. Yeah, not just yeah. a great ass. Yeah, very creepy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it sets it up to for you to start not liking him. Yeah. Yeah. He's a creepy. <laughs> he seems to not care about. Creepy. Yeah, but. We cut to party. Yes. Yes. Uh, Final party. Reese and Shaw are on the balcony. Well, Shaw's like, wear something over. pretty. Yeah. <laughs> but he's just wearing a suit. Yeah. She's eating eggs. Quail eggs. Quail eggs. <laughs> um, and she can't be expected to shoot on an empty stomach. So. Yeah. Uh, and meanwhile, see, there's two occasions in this episode where I was reminded of Always Sunny. Uh, and if you might not watch Always Sunny if you watch this, but maybe skip ahead a minute if I'm talking about this. But um, the video that came up, because obviously I knew it was going to start splicing stuff in, and I'm just reminded of any time they show a video and it splices their mm -hmm. other videos in. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I was reminded of. And also the bit where the woman, this is a bit bit later, but the woman says her pictures were leaked. I was going to joke saying, oh, disgusting, disgust. Where? Where are these pictures? Because <laughs> I remember that episode yeah. with Mac. But it also yeah, reminded so. me... Of it's always sunny when someone was mistaken for a rapist. Because didn't that happen? It's always sunny and there was like oh, a no. back look No, no, no. Dennis or... looks like a sexual <laughs> sex offender. Yeah, yeah, that's something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, back yeah. on track. They're at yes. the party. So it's their anniversary, 15 years. And well, they play like, a video, basically. Yeah, it's all lovey-dovey and the video oh, is really cute. It's pictures of them. Vomit-inducing, really. Yeah. <laughs> and then splice uh, in the video. Oh, what's yeah. that? Yeah. There's recently a thing of... It reminds me of... Um, Fight Club has a thing with that, where he splices mm. in rude images into films. Yes. Uh, there was recently a thing in a cinema in Ireland, I think, where really? um, before a showing of Mario... Uh, 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 scantily clad lady was shown on the screen before the show <laughs> obviously it's a kids film Damn. so yeah I don't know about that anyway yeah it's spicing him uh, for it basically, basically shows having an affair right, him know? having an affair yeah yeah he's like turn it off turn it off <laughs> and yeah. turn it off and he's like slaps him. he tries to explain to his wife but before he can even yeah party's over what are you all looking at party's over get out of here yeah. and then he goes over to the DVD and he's like yeah they got the guy <laughs> and then, then Shaw's like, well, just things are just getting interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, again, these all these things are adding up to be like Yeah. He's, he's not a good guy. Yeah. So even Finch says later on, like, um, we help people even if they don't really deserve yeah. it. Like uh, Yeah. Which is kind of the dilemma they're in, but People, like I said, uh, he maybe deserves a sixth chance, but I mean, I guess he doesn't deserve to die for certain no. things, because, like, yeah. Um, he's alive so he can actually do his time. Yeah. Um, but Shaw found out from CCTV that there was a waiter there that yes. wasn't on staff, no. and nobody had ever seen her. And Finch works out that it was uh, Sherry Harper. Yeah. Or, no. There was something about, um, anyway, class action lawsuit against yes. against uh, Life Trace. Yeah. For all the data breaches. Like, they, they were, yeah, people were we saying. Yeah, I think we found out a bit earlier on that there was. There I think was... this is right now. Oh, maybe they found out there was lawsuits against yeah, all this stuff. Yeah, but, but everything was. But anyway, there's a class action lawsuit, and I think Karen Mills was the woman that dropped off the DVD. Yeah. So he gets Carter. Yes, it was Karen Mills. Yes, he gets Carter to find out 
Um, I think the mention of Sherry Harper is because later on... Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. But he spoke about her her daughter got killed or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, But Cart stops a car. Yeah. And the guy, the, her partner's like, what? What for? What for? Like, oh, rolling at a stoplight or whatever. He's like, like really? really? And he goes and to get like, out. Yeah. She's like, oh, stay in the car. Stay in the car. No, she's like, stay in the car. Don't you move. <laughs> and license registration. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, why? Um, she puts the phone over. in her thing as yeah. well, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. The, the Karen's like, why have I been pulled over? And then she's like, uh, do you have a, <laughs> like... Why, uh, why are you, like, doing this to Kruger? Targeting Wayne to, Kruger. Yeah. yeah. She's and like... She's like <gasps> <laughs> but it turns out... Um, she used to be a paralegal. And, and her life was ruined. By ruined, him. yeah. Because when one day at work... She was going to get married. Like, yeah, she yeah. had a fiancé and everything. They agreed, looked her up on this life trace. And then they found... Um. <laughs> <laughs> so Claire just threw her lid. She like, looked her up and then chucked her lid away. <laughs> you didn't hear it go on the floor though, did you? Because it's landed on my shoe. Oh, I love it. Kick I it up in the air. Go on. Go. Oh, oh, it's in my trousers. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, uh, so yeah, her fiance and people at work looked her up, and then that's when they found that there'd been indecent images of her taken by an ex uploaded yeah, onto and then there. Leaked, yeah. And then her fiancé no longer wanted to marry her. Yeah. And her life kind of fell apart, I guess. Yeah, um, basically. And, and she's then like, how did you get... She's like, I got a parcel and was told yeah. to do this and whatnot, instructions. She came through, no information yeah. on who it was from. It's like, okay, I'll let you off with a warning, Yeah, but, but you, you got to take that package... To Lionel Fuscal, eighth yeah. precinct, and promise me, yeah, don't do anything like this again. She's like, yeah, that won't. Um, yeah, that's basically that. Um, Wayne's back at work. Yeah. Um, and then he sees they're all leaving. Peter Collier and yeah. all the rest. And he's like, wait, wait, what's going on? And he's like, is well, this the point? Isn't this where his assistant is packing up a? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so before that, his packing, assistant is packing like, up. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, what are you doing? She was like, well, you left me this voicemail. And it was him saying about the fact that... She's she, got a great ass. Uh, yeah. It's like, you're an asshole. <laughs> he's like, what? And then he sees them then leaving in the leaving. background. He's like, what's going on? He's like, well, considering recent events, you know, the deal's off. Yeah. And then he walks into the conference room. He's like, what's happened? <laughs> and then he and sees the picture of his mugshot. Shot. Yeah. yeah. It turns out he got a DUI and in college and... Like, and he was like, "This was all like, this was when I was in college. This and, and it's like ancient like, history." Mm-hmm. And they're like, "Yeah, it's, this is and news like, to us." Yeah, though. we didn't know this. It's yeah. like, well, yeah. So he's yeah. like, basically, no, someone's trying to ruin my life." They've done it because he's like, if "We think you should have some time off," and he's like, "What?" And it's like, "We've done a Someone vote, leave. leave of absence while we yeah. work." Yeah, it's out already what been the voted for. Is. You got to go. And he's like, "But this is my business." And they're like, "It's like, yeah, and you're the face of it, and that's the face yeah. they're seeing." Like, <laughs> so then he leaves, goes into the elevator, and the elevator free falls. Well, he gets a he phone gets a call, phone call with it? a robotic yeah. voice, and then it free falls. Yeah, and, it's and like even up Shaw's on like, lies. yeah, it comes up yeah, lies and all that. Shaw runs towards because they hear it through their thing of the cloning yeah. the thing. So Shaw runs towards the elevator, and she can see the numbers just dropping, and she's like, she "That's free it. fall." Like, and Finch is like, "That's not possible." Like, yeah. Gelivers don't do that, and she's like, "Well, tell that to Kruger." <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> it reminds me of that episode of. Um, I might cut this out. Episode Fringe. Yes. With the elevated yeah. fables. But that's a different reason completely. <laughs> like, yeah. um, so we've got Reese like, running down the stairs. Yeah. Finch like being like, Is, someone's got to be there because you need to be able to be... He can't hack it from a distance. They have to be oh, in it's the not, control. Well, it's not networked. Yeah. yeah so. There's someone there. So, and then it... But Reese runs down the stairs, yeah. but it kind of stops at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, it stops it's at the like bottom. It's like a scare tactic. So he manages yeah. to get out the lift. Runs to his car as Reese is there. He and gets then, his gun out the yeah. thing and then drives off. Um, Reese is like, he got out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, we find out now there's another, like, he, he, like, Finch finds another guy called Dennis and he's the guy who stole the money, like, saw his credit yeah. card. So it's all these different people from the class action yeah. lawsuit are doing different things, yeah. getting instructions, uh, it seems. So, yeah. Um, but we cut to Carter at a crime scene yeah. with a dead body. And her partner does not deal with it as yeah, well. Yeah, he looks I like, quite a good. I like how Carter is like, um, 
this is what I'd usually do, and this and this and this, yeah. and then, but I'm we don't do that so anymore. I'm just going to take statements yeah, and move a, on. It's kind of sad, because she's yeah. so good, she was so good yes. at her job, and she's just been screwed I like how, at this point, she's like, are you okay? And he's like, yeah. And then he throws it. <laughs> um, she calls up Fusco to ask if there's any yep. info. And he's, he's like, like oh, I'll have, yeah. have a look now. And it's been restricted. It's been frozen in the file because too many prying eyes. Yeah. And then the guys right, right behind, behind her, her like, like, are we going? I on? feel better. And it's like, oh gosh. It's like, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> <A bit> creepy. <laughs> um. So fit. Uh, Reese is following him in the car. Yeah. And then his car is hacked. Yeah. The, um, so, uh, f- the Finch, dashboard like that they've hacked the yeah so, like the, the they're videos. gonna have control over the throttle but but first the video's coming yeah. up and, and he's, like, he's trying to stop it and then yeah it's like they can yeah. control his car throttle which they do and, and they flip it is yeah. insane it, like the flip it like like I said like last the crash in the last one looked great and this yeah. one looked great as well I mean there was a good car crash in the last um season as well remember with the drone hitting the yes. car but yeah it's really cool I love just the fact that the car is flipped and then yeah. Reese I don't get how it happens mid sentence <laughs> like that is so bizarre to me <laughs> you are mid sentence no I stopped myself I don't understand how you're just like and so <gasps> <laughs> like, how can you <laughs> like, it's just funny to me <laughs> I love how Reese is just like the car flips and then Reese oh, just drives yeah. up alongside going just well seems like you need a lift <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> like I said that seems quite like um, would you get in the car you'd be like did you do this yeah yeah you'd feel like yeah. you'd done it yeah and that's when we see them in one of the safe houses Yes. They're all grouped together. I think it's the same safe house that they've used before yeah, for the last few things. And it, it's yeah. the same. I think it's literally the same one house um, that uh, Nathan lived in because it's got that little entry. Yeah. I think it's the exact same place. So. Yeah. yeah. But we see, like, they take a bag off his head, obviously. Yeah. And then Bear's just say like, hello. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then they're trying to work out who's. Yeah, so he gets up the information about. Um, Oh, um, Stu Summers, right? Yeah. Who is Carl Miller, right? Yeah. <laughs> so but the, her dad had a different surname. Yes. But then Finch is like, I recognise this guy. And, and yeah, Shaw's like, yeah, Janet. Yeah, so it's Janet. He only started like a certain yeah. ma- time ago. Um, but in reality, he was like a... Um, Oh, kind yeah. of like a computer engineer yeah. for like some aerospace So he could do everything that's happened. Yes, exactly. So um, then they're like, right, let's go talk to him. Uh, well, then um, uh, Kruger is like, oh, I can get his address. Let me just... And he's like... So, he's like, do you need my part? Oh. No, no, no. I'm like, yeah, he's like, have you hacked my web like servers? Yeah. He's like... <laughs> he makes... I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Um, so he gets the address and then yeah. sends them two off. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we missed... Shaw goes to the apartment yeah. and Reese goes to the work to check yes. his locker or something. Yeah. Um, we missed Reese put the gun in the drawer as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but they kind of check. Well, Finch is kind of like, you should go get rest. Yeah. And then he's kind of just chatting away, like. Mm. Yeah. Then he tries to use the phone and, and then. Finch is like, I'd really rather you didn't do yeah. that. He's like, I just wanted to check on yeah. my wife. Yeah. He's like, I can do that. Yeah. Oh, because he asked him what he was doing. He's like, are you... Oh, I'm hacking... Oh, I can hack your... No, he's like, I can hack into your cell yeah. thing. He's like, like oh, do you need my pa- oh. Yeah, the noise he makes is funny. Because it's just like, oh, I've got it under control. Uh, and then we hear the message. Yeah. And it's Collier uh, yeah. saying, the deal's back on. Like, Half nine at the restaurant. Meet us here. He's like, all right. Oh, I've I can still go. make I'm it. I'm going to go. And then that's when Finch is like, wait, this wasn't a new message. Someone else has read this message. Yeah. Which means the other guy's probably waiting for yeah. you there. Yes, dude. He's got it. And he's like, but I need to make this deal. I don't care. I've got to go. <laughs> and he's like, and then yeah, he is really a bit hard. like, what about your wife? Yeah. So like, I'll call her on the way. Yeah. But he won't let him go. But no. he smashes Finch over the back of the head. Yeah. And then goes. Yeah. I love this bit because I'm like, I hope Bear bites his bolts. Yeah. <laughs> um, Finch wakes up in a day he's not very good. Yeah. But yeah, it turns out Bear did get him on the way out. Yeah. Uh, but he calls Reese, who's he's at the locker room. Yeah. And he's like, uh, we've got a problem. 
He got away from me. I turned my back on him. Yeah. Um, and but he's got the gun. Slowed him down. Yeah, he's got the gun. So it might be a problem. Yeah. This is where they're like. He could be perpetrator or the vil- like yeah. or the victim. Who knows? And I really like we see the machine and the percentage it goes yeah. up of perpetrator. It's so cool. I really like the machine stuff we're seeing this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and that's when uh, Reese sees his locker and he's like, sees the picture he's and he's like... He's turned into the stalker that killed his... Yeah, that killed his daughter. Yeah. Because um, someone... So basically we found out that... Um, her ex-boyfriend, so his daughter's ex-boyfriend found her information on the website yeah. and kept stalking her and then killed her. Yeah. Yeah. That's the revenge he wants, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah we... Are we at the meeting? Yeah, we get to the meeting where Stu's kind of waiting there, but he turns up, he's got the gun, and he's like, Yeah. So when are you planning to kill me, before or after? He's, he's like, like, I haven't decided yet. Yeah. He's like, you're coming with me, let's go. And they go into the meeting where Collier is. Go. So we go into the meeting where Collier is, and... Um, he's like, where's everyone else? And he's like, oh, well... Sorry to tell you, we couldn't... Talk to the CEO again, but um, he just didn't change his yeah. mind. But we thought it'd be better to talk to you face to face. No! But I like how the, the Collier's like... The well, he's like, he says to go, hello. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, it's I don't just... Know who you are. Yeah. But then, yeah, um, exactly. Kruger loses it. Yeah. Gets the gun out. It's like, like, whoa, what? what you got a gun for? Yeah. Really, he knew everything like that was going on. That's life. insane. He just knew everything that was yeah, going on. Yeah, he's like, this guy's ruined my life. It's, it's all his fault. The deal fell through. All yeah. this, and then uh, Stu manages to get the gun. Yeah. <laughs> um. So where we find out that Reese kind of comes in at this point, right? Yeah, and probably. Then, yeah. But this is where we find out know. that his daughter had reached out to the company three times well he'd her. reached out as well yeah, yeah to, to have her information because he found the address and then we told you and was like please re- we need you to yeah. remove this and then he came did it and again. he refused did and he came again. again and again and then he killed Till her third time when he killed her and I mean to be fair to Kruger he's like I didn't know about that yeah but I mean earlier as well but he when was you're saying, the face of a company yeah exactly like earlier Finch was saying like um, like because he was trying to justify what he does and Finch was like yeah but you, um, like your responsibility is to look after that data, and like yeah, as long as you're making, not going into yeah, the wrong doing hands. the right thing with it, like yeah. you're as long as your profits are okay, you're fine. Because he even boasted about yeah. oh, billion dollar, like industry, yeah. and it's like it came up as well earlier with like um, obviously the machine collects data, yeah. But Finch was like, that's why I made sure it's a black box that no one can access. Especially people like that. Because who knows what they do yeah. with information like that. Because like, it is one of those things of the... Yeah. If her ex found her one time and killed her the first time, there's there's an element of... You're not to know that that would be the end situation. I guess not. However... Yeah. If her ex is stalking her, and you, well, it that's doesn't the thing. really divulge they... what happened each time he found no, her. No, but they, they, the only thing know... we know is that after the first time they asked for the information to yeah, be taken away, and they didn't. You know, yeah. he could have hurt, like beaten her up each time. Mm. That it is like, hang on a second, this person, like either way, if she's yeah. not comfortable being stalked, no, then but he, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Like, if it was the first time of like moment, he's found out, killed her. Yes, you've kind of got that. We didn't know. That that would be but when yeah, you've got and someone she willingly that's kind of gave actively that. stalking and but that's the asked, thing what you're saying is she willingly gave the information and, yeah. but uh, the problem yeah. is that the stalking you asked for it to be removed exactly. because of that yeah. but you continue to do times. it so yeah. you're more responsible for the outcome oh, 100%, yeah. because you could have prevented it yeah yeah, and just like being oblivious to like wrongdoing going yeah. on doesn't make you not like Still an arsehole yeah. for like he's he still runs that company and knows yeah. that the data is, can be abused. Like right? yeah, yeah, it's insane. But Finch, uh, Reese, sorry, basically convinces him not to. He's like, yeah. think about your daughter, think about yeah. what she would have wanted. She wouldn't want he this. He gives her the picture. Yeah, he kind of takes the gun and gives the picture. Like yeah. he did the right thing. And then pew pew. Did you expect this? No. <laughs> Reese is shot, and so is the other guy. And Man, like, as soon as I what? saw him in this episode, I was like, damn. <laughs> Turned out it's clear the whole time. Yep. He, um, so he, he shoots, yeah, he shoots um, both um, Reese and yeah. Kruger and explains to Summers that he's like, um, 
this is what we gave back to you. Like you, you use that like anger and re- like to take yeah. revenge, take action against people who are abusing our information yeah. and our privacy and whatnot. Yeah. Um, it's time we took action and didn't just step back. And he's basically he says to Kruger, he's like, "This is a lesson, the first. We're not. Uh, it's time we dealt with action and not apathy and just yeah. like accepted what was happening." Yeah. So what do you think of this whole deal and Collier and what's going on and who's who's he with? What's he doing? Don't know, but it's a whole new like <laughs> we got we got too many long stories going on. Do you know what it's I mean? It's so crazy, isn't it? You've it's got so like cool. HR, you've got Root, you've got Elias, you've now got this. The machine, you got Yeah. You got the the guy, like with the virus. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about him. So many other things going on. I forgot about him. Yeah? yeah, it's insane, isn't it? That's why this, like, this season is a hell of a start. I will say. Yeah. So, like, even though this again is just kind of number of the week, yeah. there's so much in, yes. in, yeah, into it. I feel like it's... this one's not just a number, though. This is the yeah, and it's it feels sometimes. ironically very, very relevant numbers uh, because of the whole data kind yeah. of connection and like yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? And he's like, because obviously he said the car didn't do the trick. Was hoping that'd kill him. But yeah. There you go. And then he just shoots him in the head, really. Yeah. To finish him off. And then they just leave. And that's when Shaw comes in. Yeah, because uh, Reese calls. <laughs> yeah, Finch is like, oh, my vest caught it. I think I've broken a yeah, rib. ribs. And then Shaw's like, we need to get out of here. He's like, I've got to go for Collier. He's like, no way. Yeah. We've got to get out of here. Um, so, what do you think of Collier? I don't know. Will we is see him a... again? Is he just a spokesperson for someone bigger. yeah he says like, there are a lot of us yes that yeah, is like, mm. yeah so what is it gonna be i don't know i feel like it's too early to tell <laughs> it, it, you know and you've just had that little sprinkling yeah. something's just been seasoned. it's a seed a seed has been planted yes and where will it go yeah but how soon will it be till we have another something more related to that? You just don't know with this. No, show. and like we've still got three seasons to go. Yeah. This we still have twenty one episodes of this season. Yeah. Twenty two episodes in season four. Yeah. And then like fifteen or I can't I never remember yeah. last season. Yeah, there you go. Crazy. Cool episode, I really like it. Um Yeah. Um we cut to Carter and um she's getting in her car and a partner and whatnot. Yeah. And he's basically explaining how Two, two other ro- people dropped out two before. Two rookies, yeah. yeah. Didn't want to be But I chose that. you because I heard stories about you, how you took down those that HR homicide, people. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to learn under you. But it seems like you don't want to teach anyone. So if you don't want to, just cut me loose. Yeah. And whatever. And then there's a, cu- there's a call on the radio and then she picks it up to reply and then she hands it over to him. Yay, partner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and last thing we get is a scene with Reese. Sure. And uh, Finch talking about Collier. Yeah. Uh, and that he just started working for the company like three yeah. months ago or something like that. And he used it to get close to Kruger. Yeah. To do this. Um, and Finch is like, this seems like it's just the beginning of something. <laughs> like, yeah. this, yeah. It's so weird because I, I was just thinking, like, we've gone back like a few episodes before and there was just me craving the machine the whole time. Like, I want more of the machine. I want more of the machine. <laughs> and now it's kind of like, the machine is itself. It's the machine is a person in itself. <laughs> like now, it's just like, what is going on next? I yeah. feel like the fascination to the machine, and like when we first started watching it, and it was like, I want to see more bits about the past and stuff. But yeah. now it's just so much, like in the now. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've you're learned not too quite. Worried, like, we've learned quite a bit about its history, but yeah. now you're like, where is the machine? Yeah. What is it doing? What's going to happen? I'm not too worried where the machine is. I don't. Oh, even no, know it's kind of. Yeah, I get we'll what you mean. Know. But no, I don't think in the way of like, I don't say where the machine is in the way of I want the answer to that. I'm just yeah. like, where the heck is it? What is it doing? Yeah. Like, <laughs> It'd be nice to know. Yeah, we, yeah. We got a comment saying I'm really rooting for the machine now, yeah, <laughs> like, like at the end of last season. Because yeah, hell yeah. It's so, like, so cool. You're so intrigued by the machine, yeah. but now I feel like because you know it's got, almost got a mind of its own and it's self-sufficient in itself, yeah. that I feel like it's up to a new level that I'm oh, like, hell yeah. this thing is all right to survive on its own. It don't need <laughs> our help. We don't yeah. need to make sure it's safe because it kind of feels, it's safe. It kind of feels cool as well because in the beginning you're like, oh, the government are using yeah, that. But now it's like, 
it's on its own. Yeah. The government have no control. Well, they didn't really have control of it yeah. to begin with. They but thought they had control. They but... they don't even know where it is. So, yeah. like, it's so, so cool. Like, it's just so yeah. like you don't have to. And I feel like in the first season and stuff, you are like, oh my god, people are trying to find the machine. They're gonna yeah. like you're rooting for the machine and you're hoping that the like even Finch can save the machine. And, yeah. And, but it's kind of like now you're at the point where you're like, this machine don't need saving. Yeah. This machine is... It's got it. It's got it on its own. I feel like yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. it's kind of like, yeah. it's doing its job. It's all good. Yeah. So with Finch saying about like, uh, this is only the beginning with Collier, do you think, how do you think that's going to connect with like them? Because obviously Collier was all interested. He didn't care about Reese. He was more interested in Kruger and what he yeah. was doing. But how does that it's, connect... It's interesting though because their whole thing is about people taking too much information and almost spying on people, isn't it? Which it's is kind taking of taking people's privacy, which is exactly what the machine does. It's the concept of the whole show, <laughs> which like Back to Finch a argues big though. Level. He's like, well, but the information nobody is can protected. get that information. But yeah, it's not like the fact that you even think like we said that we were talking about it earlier, like but adverts like the fact that we could sit here and talk about huggies nappies about and keep saying huggies over and over again because we <laughs> like huggies and, and i would reckon when it. we go on our phones there'll be an advert yeah, for it well that's how like um the internet works exactly yeah. what they were saying in that this piracy piracy privacy privacy but um, that's what cookies are for and you yeah. agree to them all the time yeah yeah so but that's taken. I mean, we have to in the UK. I don't know. I don't think it's a thing in like American stuff. It just happens like yeah. when you go to websites. But over here, whenever you go to a website, you have to accept cookies. It's yeah. a legal requirement. They have to ask you now. So you yeah. always blimming get it on a website. And you're it's like, so oh, fine, I don't care. <laughs> have my soul. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is like this is just a conversation that we're having now between us. Mm -hmm. But there's other devices around you taking that information yeah 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 whereas like the machine would just take it store it away you know like yeah. if there's ever loads of huggy nappies stolen from a store then the machine <laughs> would be like, like Wait a if she was talking about those because a crime yeah. has taken place compared to oh that person keeps mentioning something so i will sell now them ads for it. sell yeah, them yeah, ads yeah. to try and get them to buy exactly. it it's kind of yeah. using it to yeah uh, which yeah advantage. that's the argument isn't it it's like is the selling data like harmful or not in some ways it yeah. can be in other ways it's not like harmful to my bank account because yeah i but i even find this that i'll look into a product and then i'll keep getting adverts for that product oh yeah 100 like, percent. yeah God, like did, I, I just yeah. look to see what like i've looked like. for a camera before on amazon for like the channel on that and then it's you just get all the adverts for it all the time it's like okay yeah i get yeah. it <laughs> uh but yeah but yeah so. that's how i kind of what, feel like um, the machine is i get that the machine they could find out and they'll probably think the machine is really bad because it's not just taking like the data that those companies take a very low level data yeah but the machine is obviously like it's watching you on cameras it's like listening it's, it's yeah. high level data it's taking from you watching but, with a what was it watching with a thousand eyes yeah. listening with a million ears or it's the other way around but like the two songs in but the soundtrack. it's protected data <laughs> and Whereas, what Finch said this is low level data but it's free flowing data sort of thing do you know what I mean kind of yeah yeah, yeah. like it's being sold to people yeah so it's different whereas uh, the machine's data is not being sold but how will you anyone. think Collier would think about that then oh they or just his won't organization like it or whatever it's their privacy well yeah because nobody's actually like nobody's consented to it exactly nobody's consenting to that but at all do, do you have to consent to something if you don't know it's happening that yeah <laughs> But then is it even worse that nobody knows it's yeah. happening? You know? However, how many terrorist attacks is that? Like, how Prevented, much is that? Yeah. yeah. And how many lives have... Has it saved? ...have Finch and resaved? So, yeah. yeah. Um, but also, I was going to say, um, in the last episode... Oh, God, what was I going to say? Um, there was a whole root scene with um, a therapist. Yeah. Um, and he mentioned how there are, there's a lot of talk nowadays about data and people yeah. listening. Uh, do you feel like you're being watched? Like there's obviously talk out yeah. there of it, and people are, and obviously so we've seen, say, isn't it? we've yeah. obviously seen other people that are clocking on to what's yes. happening. I mean, and then they die. Root clocked on to what's happening, and then they die. I mean, root hasn't. <laughs> and 
the news reporter. Well, no, he was the uh, NSA, right? He yeah. worked for the NSA um, and he no, worked died. it out. Well, no, because Finch told him and then was like, yeah. just forget about it. Live your yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, what's really funny as well, this isn't a... Uh, this might be a spoiler. Yeah, because that guy was searching for the truth, wasn't he? He was like... He was searching he just wants to know, for it. He, like, he asked the question and then that ruined his life. So yeah. he needed to know. And it's um, like, it is true. Yeah. You don't need to look any further into it. Yeah. Continue. Um, what I will say, so there's a non-spoilery way to say this. Um, for the fans of this show, uh, if you like action and you like this show, check out Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning because it has vibes of <laughs> something. But yeah, um... <laughs> Yeah. To really. be fair, when we watched it, we watched it, and I was like, it really gave me personal oh, interest 100%. vibes. Like yeah, I was yeah. like, no, yeah. it's so good though. It's one of the best movies yeah. I've seen for a while. And if you've not watched yeah. any of the other Mission Impossible, don't worry, just watch don't it. Don't worry, just watch it. I mean, you'll miss out on a few character details, but just watch it anyway. Um, but it's not pinnacle. No, uh, pinnacle necessary. Yeah. <laughs> the pinnacle English is language. like <laughs> yeah um, I always forget what words mean and you... yeah I don't know uh, anyway I don't think there's that much yeah, else to say we blabbered on for yeah long we, we got a little bit of fusco like you said no uh, root no uh, Elias no Russians no so there we go but I, say no, Stan I mean Yogorov Stan is Stan dead so I mean was... Yogorov was shot so I mean yeah. I don't know how much of the Russians we're going to see from now but yeah yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, really good episode. I'm really, oh, really hyped to see more of this yes. now because, man, Where this show go? is so good. We've got so long to go. Um, we're not sure if the plan is to, to double up on personal interest. I have mentioned we might do that later on, but we might not. We might not. We might start a new show just to keep things fresh on the channel mm -hmm. and to bring more people in and hopefully then they see personal interest and then who knows. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, if we can find time, we'll try and record more. Yeah. I mean, yeah, see what happens. But thank you very much for watching. We'll be back for episode three of season three next time. Um, what do you want to see next time? Uh, some more root. More root. I think we're yeah. kind of guaranteed that. We saw yeah. the thumbnail. So. Well, you we never know from thumbnails. I mean, yeah, the thumbnails have been used to so far. So who knows? There yes. you go. Uh, next on the channel will be It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I believe it's the bloopers for season nine. Ooh. Uh, and then we'll be moving on to a new season so yeah uh, but thank you very much for watching yeah I think that's yeah. it goodbye bye